Rupert Murdoch, now in his 70s, is one of the most powerful men alive and determined as ever to hold on to life and his empire. He's also convinced that all his power should stay in the family once he's gone. The power of a Murdoch information empire, which already reaches more than two in every three people on Earth. The unstoppable and only son of a wealthy Melbourne family, Rupert Murdoch has carried a family dream way beyond anyone's wildest imaginings. I do sometimes feel uncomfortable when people say, oh, you know, Rupert's so wonderful, you must be so proud. He's a great man. And a lot of those people think it's because he's made money. And that's not greatness. No, it's, it's part, perhaps, if you... Uh, it's very satisfactory. If, if, you, if you do earn very well and are so-called, this awful word, rich, the point is what you do with it. The thrill of success is in uh, how many people do you get to watch your television programs, how many people do you get to buy your newspapers, uh, and how do they react to them. And if you're doing that well, the rest looks after itself. The sun never sets on the Murdoch Empire, a kingdom the Murdoch children are being groomed to inherit. This is the story of a single-minded dynasty, three tightly bound generations of a family with journalism at its heart. A media dynasty started by Rupert's ambitious father, Keith. I don't know of any son of any prominent media family who hasn't wanted to follow uh, in the footsteps of his forebears. It's just too great a life. I don't think we ever realized that we were in a, an extraordinary family. Um, and I still think in many ways we're not in a, an extraordinary family. We're an ordinary family with ordinary family issues uh, in a perhaps extraordinary circumstances. To control your own destiny, you have to be able to have control as much as possible of the company. Um, and therefore it is very important that the family maintain their position in the company. What you see is almost the recreation of a kind of 19th century English aristocracy taking place here. Uh, that there is a new media aristocracy that he wants to create uh, in which the top jobs will go to people with the name Murdoch. <laughs> 